All right. All right, guys. Hello. Happy Sunday. So my name is Nicole, you guys. I just decided to join the Herbalife business when I met my upline, Delphina. She introduced me to this amazing women empowerment community. And before, I was definitely someone who felt depressed. I was, um, I had low self-esteem, um, you know, emotional eating, all these things. So, um, you know, fast forward now, I have learned the value of personal development and working on that every single day with the help of this community and learning to be consistent with healthier habits. Um, I've been able to lose weight. I'm currently down 13 pounds and excited for these results coming through in uh, the summertime. So, you know, my intention is to just share my journey. And because I know how bad I used to feel, it kind of hurts my heart when I think about how I used to talk to myself when I looked in the mirror versus now I can literally look at myself in the mirror and say, I love who I am and I love how I am and, I, and I'm excited to continue to, to grow. Um, so that's where I'm at. Um, I wanted to start these weekly lives called Spill the Tea because in our community, we have so many conversations um, and I get uh, you know, asked many questions. So I thought I can you know, do product highlights and um, topics that are talked about. Today, um, I'm bringing on my beautiful friend and business partner, Cindy. Um, today's topic is Pregnancy 101. So um, I wanted to bring that topic to my um, Instagram because I have a lot of people reaching out that ask, you know, um, what can I implement with pregnancy or breastfeeding and, um, you know, wanting to maybe join our four-week series that we have every month, but thinking it's just about weight loss. So I wanted to bring Cindy on. I've watched her journey from, you know, up until her, uh, leading to her pregnancy during her pregnancy and, um, after, and it's been so beautiful. And, um, I know that if, or when I become a mother, um, I, I definitely, uh, if, uh, it's not when, it's if. <laughs> um, uh, I definitely would, um, you know, would, would go to her for advice and, and look up to her and admire her and would want, you know, to, um, you know, to, to basically, anyway, I'm getting stuck. I'm live. Okay, I'm just going to leave it to Cindy. What's up, Cindy? Good morning. Happy Sunday. Um, welcome. Um, so excited to to share this morning. And um, I just want to share a little bit of my story. And, and we're going to talk about um, the importance of like creating a healthy lifestyle before pregnancy. So whether you are, and this can apply to whether you are currently pregnant, whether you maybe are thinking about it in the future, and why it's important to establish a healthy lifestyle right now. So um, before, so my, my journey, actually my, my herbal life journey before pregnancy started, um, almost seven years ago. And when I was introduced to this community, I was in a, in a place in my life where, um, I was already on my weight loss journey, but there was just so much that I needed to work on. Right. And so I, you know, being invited to the community, I, in the state where I was, I was a yo-yo dieter. I was a binge eater. I would, um, consume all my calories on the weekend with, with drinks, alcoholic beverages, and think that I was creating a healthy lifestyle, right? I was very, um, I was unhappy. I had no confidence and I had a very, tumultuous relationship with food. So when I was introduced to the products and the community, it absolutely changed my life. I was surrounded by incredible people that were so positive and uplifting. And being that I was on my journey prior by myself, to be able to find a community to plug into was just absolutely 
powerful. I got started on the nutrition. I started to feel instant energy. I started to get results. You know, let me just say that when I found Herbalife, I was at a plateau in my journey for about almost two years. And so the moment that I started incorporating the products, specifically the, the formula and shakes, um, I started to see results, you know, and I just, I fell in love with the community and I fell in love with the nutrition because I really learned how to, um, how to have a healthy relationship with food, how to eat for my goals and my body because everybody's goals are different, everybody's body's different. And so I really learned the importance of nutrition on my Herbalife journey. So fast forward to today, I've been able to lose 115 pounds. I've been able to put on 16 pounds of lean muscle, okay? Gains, okay? Booty gains, building my curves with Herbalife. I've been able to have a healthy and active pregnancy. Um, and just an incredible, incredible postpartum journey. And I really accredit this community and the nutrition with my pregnancy and postpartum experience. And so that's what I really want to share with you guys today um, because it's so important. And there's just so many things that I learned through my my weight loss journey and then incorporating into, into um, my pregnancy and postpartum journey and that's really what we want to bring light to because there is a connection with nutrition is everything nutrition is everything for what eventually all of us all of us what our goal is is to to have a healthy body to create healthy lifestyles to live live a long life and so that's why we have to make sure that nutrition is key in in everything right no for sure um, yeah, that's powerful. And I, and I will say that like you just, since I've known you, I've probably known you what, for four years or so you've been consistent every single day and like showed up every single day, um, and have created that healthy lifestyle. And it inspires me with someone who, you know, doesn't really, you know, or, or didn't, it's definitely improved, didn't have a good relationship with food and, went to food for comfort and void and to fill a void and stress and all that stuff um to see someone where you were at and been able to like lose 100 pounds and be where you're at now and it's just like a lifestyle and that's what it's not a diet it's not anything it's a lifestyle and it's hard it's a lot of mental you know it's all mental really but um once that clicks it's just it's, it's a beautiful journey and, and a healthier life so um so as far as your pregnancy goes, um, what, what did you do to prepare for, for your pregnancy? So great question. So I, I think one of the things that I, I share with our community is when it comes to preparing your body for pregnancy, if this is really ultimately what you want in your life, and I knew, I knew, um, I've always known that this is something that I wanted. And so when I started my weight loss journey, it clicked for me. And also, you know, once I started going to, it, it, it almost kind of came full circle for me because I started my weight loss journey for me to feel good, to feel better, to have energy, you know, to, to feel confident and just overall my health because I wasn't in good health when I started my weight loss journey. And that was part of the reason why I was inspired to get started. But what I realized was if you ultimately want to become pregnant the preparation of your body starts before pregnancy before even considering pregnancy because right. in order to have a healthy pregnancy um you really have to start creating those healthy habits now and so what i realized was that my pregnancy journey of preparing my body for pregnancy really started um 10 years ago when i started you know my weight loss journey and the importance of that, because so many things, you know, pregnancy is just a whole craziness in itself. Yeah. But starting, if you're starting off with a healthy body, with healthy habits, with a healthy relationship with food, most importantly, then more than likely you will have a really healthy pregnancy. And that's one thing that I really want people to take away is that it doesn't start when you decide you want to get pregnant. It doesn't start when you go to your first ultrasound and you hear that heartbeat. It starts before. It starts now. It starts with the idea of eventually I want to be a mom, so I got to get healthy now. And so 
why that's important because that really led up for me personally and and so many women that I've been able to have the opportunity to support through their pregnancy um it's the same common common thing that we find is like if you establish healthy healthy relationship with food and healthy habits prior to pregnancy pregnancy is is such a, a an easier transition because it is a complete change and you know back to the point where you said about mindset mindset is is so important because especially during pregnancy your body's changing so many things your hormones are through the roof so many things are happening within you and so to be able to to take a step back and really be like in gratitude of what your body is able to do what your body is doing for you during pregnancy that's a huge that's a huge part of 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 the journey is having that you know that positive attitude and positive outlook and so the community was so critical for me during you know during my pregnancy and even before leading up to it because like i said i was not in a good um i was not in a good mental state before starting my journey with herbal life i was not i was not confident i was not positive and so all of those things actually started be in my weight loss journey before pregnancy and i was able to take that you know that uh positivity and that knowledge and experience into my pregnancy which i know that it made it it made it such an amazing experience because it was like i was seeing the world through a whole new set of eyes and anyone who it, it's the same feeling as when you're on this weight loss journey and you've lost 10 pounds you lost 5 pounds you lost 10 pounds the excitement that you feel because you know that you're taking care of your body and yeah. you're giving your body what it needs that's yeah. the exact same feeling when it comes to like creating those things during you know to have a healthy pregnancy and what i love about the nutrition is that i was able to literally incorporate all of my amazing supplements into my with my with my pregnancy right. and it really helped it really helped to continue to have you know i was able to gain healthy weight i was able to maintain my health because like i said so many things can happen during pregnancy but if you're starting off in a good point where your body is healthy you're you have healthy habits that's really going to make the transition a lot better right right yeah and that's amazing and i think that a lot of people um I'm sure they think about it but I don't know if that's kind of the focus, you know, when they they have a plan and it's like, okay, I want to be I want to have kids at this time, but have you really thought about where where you are at as far as like emotionally and mentally and, you know, it, it does take a toll. I don't know from experience, but I I know from, you know, other sharing. Um and as far as nutrition and being able to incorporate what you were already doing. We have a question. It says, "What products um did you stop taking um just during your pregnancy?" So during pregnancy, um no fat burners, right? So mm -hmm. fat burners meaning the Prolessa Prolessa Duo. I did switch from our um amazing herbal tea concentrate to the NRG. because the NRG is less caffeine so that's another thing that you want to moderate and this is very um the, you know what i'm sharing is very uh, across the board for for pretty much every pregnancy your doctor will tell you limit your caffeine intake so obviously no fat burners um limit caffeine um i just did the switch from that um the herbal tea concentrate which does have fat burning component to the NRG tea and and i'll say that because i was having my shakes and having my protein snacks i didn't really have too much of an issue with energy because mm -hmm. i was just you know i was feeling my body so pretty much those two things and one other um is the um our amazing women's women's line so like women's choice because it has um it's for hormone balance and you don't really want to regulate your hormones when you're pregnant um because it's a part of you know your hormones are going to be what they are and they need to be because that's how we keep our baby in our body so um pretty much that's it i i I was very consistent with everything else and I will say that it just made it so much easier to not have to think about what am I like where where am I going to get my nutrients what else do I need to eat right and just a little bit on on that so one of the products that I would absolutely recommend so whether you are you know on your weight loss journey and you're thinking about getting pregnant or you're already pregnant and you need to really you've been told that you need to watch your diet and and watch what you're eating 
Um, I would so recommend the Formula One shakes to every single, I recommend them to every client. I recommend them to every uh, potential pregnant woman. Everybody, everybody needs to be consuming a Formula One shake. And why it's important during pregnancy specifically is because remember that you're, you're, everything you consume now is is giving given to your baby and so you need to make sure which the doctor will tell you you got to have a balanced diet you got to have you know vitamins minerals all of these things and um it's so important that you are creating that healthy balanced lifestyle when you're especially when you're pregnant because like i said it's going to your baby so a formula one shake has 21 vitamins and minerals you're getting protein you're getting carbs you're getting health you know it's overall a a healthy meal that's why we call it a healthy meal replacement However, when you are pregnant, it's no longer a meal replacement. It is a snack to fill the gaps throughout your day. Right. And really, overall, when it comes to a healthy lifestyle, that's really how I how I share it with our community is don't think of it as you're replacing a meal because you're not. You're still eating throughout your day. But how important it is to get those vitamins and minerals when you're pregnant, when you're trying to get pregnant, your body needs throughout your body needs so much because it's giving to your baby. And so that's one of the easiest way to really make the transition to start um, eating healthy and incorporate healthy meals um, is to start to do the two shakes. I, I during my pregnancy, I was doing two shakes a day. I was having the first one as my breakfast because I, you know, being being a person that works full time, it was just the easiest and simplest way to get nutrients in my body from breaking my fast at night. You know, that's right. why it's called breakfast. So that was my first meal. And that was the last meal of my day, because the way that I see it as is. The first meal of the day is important because it breaks your fast from sleeping. And then the last meal of the day is important because it's what's fueling your body through your sleep cycle until your next meal. And so yeah. I incorporated that during my pregnancy and I was able to, um, to gain that healthy weight. Cause at the beginning I, it took me a while to gain weight. And I was, you know, being that it was my first time being pregnant, I was almost like concerned because, you know, you don't, yeah. you don't know these things. Like I was like, I'm not gaining weight. I'm not gaining weight, but I feel it, you know? So it was yeah. very important for me to, to, to understand that I, um, following a healthy meal plan is what's going to help me get that result. And it does, it's not different from your weight loss journey from, right. you know, a healthy pregnancy. So my focus, my doctor said, you have to gain minimum um, 30 pounds. So I was like, okay, I'm going to do this. Just like with my weight loss journey, I was committed and excited. Like I got to lose that. I got to gain at least 30 pounds. So, yeah. you know, we're going to do this, you know, yeah. and, and what it helped with also was like, um, I never, I didn't crave, and this is something that I learned, right? Cause I, I'm very inquisitive and I asked my doctor, so like, I, she was probably like annoyed with me because <laughs> one of my first visits, I took all of my products with me to my doctor's visit. And she was like, what is this? Like, I was like, okay, listen, this is what I take. This is how I eat. And she, yeah, she was like, yeah, this is, you can continue to do this. You know, the, the more vitamins you get in your body, the better, because you never know, like every woman's body is so different. Every baby is different. And so you don't really know what, um, what nutrient your body, your baby's going to absorb more of. So that's where we see so many women who have like, um, vitamin C, vitamin D deficiencies, right. iron deficiencies, because you don't know what your baby's going to be like taking from you. Right. And so right. that was one of the things that my doctor explained is like, it's great that you're already on this, you know, this kind of, uh, lifestyle because it does benefit you and it benefits your baby. Right. So whether, you know, you're already healthy or you're, you're trying to get healthy. That's definitely one product that I want everybody to get started on is the formula one shake with the protein. So it's a formula one shake with the protein drink mix because that's going to give you uh, about 24 grams of protein. Plus, because it has that added protein, it helps, it helps you stay fuller longer in between meals, which is something that also that I learned is if you, um, a lot of women who experience uh, morning sickness, a lot of times it's because there's nothing in your body. And so if you, if you eat small meals, which what do we do in Herbalife? We eat small meals every two to three hours. If you maintain that, that actually helps aid with morning sickness. 
So that was like an amazing, you know, thing to know. Okay, if I if my first meal meal of the day is my formula one shake with my protein drink mix, I already know that keeps me full until like my next meal, the next three hours. That's perfect. That's like a really great way to to help women support them through their journey because a lot of times when uh, women are experiencing morning sickness and it's just like I'm just gonna eat whatever to get this down, but you don't want to do that. You want to make sure that it's something good. Yeah. So that's just one of the things that I learned and and why. Um, you know, super important that, that you're, you're incorporating that because also if you're going from not, you're not eating healthy and now you're pregnant and now you're being told you have to follow a healthy diet, right. the shakes are the easiest way to get started. And it's a guarantee that you're going to, you're giving your body what it needs to yeah. maintain, to maintain your weight. If that's, I know so many women who, who um, have now they're pregnant and, and they have to watch their diet because they can't, they can only gain, you know, 10 pounds though. So they really have to watch their diet. That's another, you know, it's for weight management, but it's obviously used differently through pregnancy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think that I, you know, I've known people who actually, um, they've, you know, got gestational diabetes. Um, and so I know that our shakes are amazing for, um, it, you know, diabetics and then gestational diabetes. And, um, you know, I've seen them just do a switch. And so I feel like the shakes are the easiest, especially like when you have cravings, like sweet cravings, you can create our shakes to like, I make my donuts, it's with like them. Ice cream yeah, my cakes, ice creams, like anything. And you're still consuming those vitamins and nutrients that you need. Um, so, you know, I, I think that's so important too. Um, so Nutrition, thanks for, you know, touching on nutrition. Um, I, I do want to go into um, mindset and, like, how you, I mean, I think that you were, really had an amazing um, journey because of your inner transformation that you had before even getting pregnant. And I kind of wanted to touch on that and how our community kind of helped you through your journey and stuff like that. Perfect. So I am obsessed with this community. And um, like I said, from the beginning, I just was so amazed at the fact that there's just so many women. And this is like, this is a new thing now, right? Women supporting women. But I remember, I only had my close, you know, group of friends that were amazing, and they loved on me. And that was not something that I saw outside of my own circle, right? Mm -hmm. Until I met these amazing women who um, one of the, the greatest things that I took away was at the time when I found this community, I was not a mom. I was not a mom. I was, I was a married woman working on myself. And I didn't realize that this community really shaped me in a sense that I learned to love myself. I learned to let go of the things that no longer served me. I learned to give myself the time and space to continue to, to elevate and all of that carried me through my pregnancy. All of that was what I took in, why I was able to create that like positive attitude and, and just out, positive outlook on life because I was not a positive person before I started working on myself. And so one of the things that I, I, I share, especially now being a mother of a girl, of a daughter, I have a daughter, I, I almost see it as like my mission to continue to work on myself because that's the example that I want my daughter to have is that you can be all of these amazing things, but never lose sight of yourself and why you're important, why you need to love on yourself. And the community just did that for me. It just, it was a, a, a culmination of, of all these amazing women sharing their stories, connecting through their stories. And, and it really like, I, I, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm just so grateful for the community because they really they really taught me like um, what it is to be a, a mom working on yourself and why it's important. And I learned so much from all of these amazing women and mothers like in transition and growing and, and why why the important the most important thing is that. I learned through this community is through our incredible, you know, our women empowerment powwows that we have um, up until now. We have them every Saturday. Right. And hearing hearing other women share their incredible stories of, of really what I call a weight loss journey. I call it a self love journey because that's really what it is. The weight will come off. The weight will come off if you're working on the inner. 
It's an inner transformation that leads to the outer transformation because in order to have permanent physical transformation, you need to start within. You need to start with the things that are holding you back. And that's really what I took away from this community is that especially now as, as a mom, that whatever I don't deal with, whatever I don't heal from trauma, I will carry into motherhood and my daughter will inherit that. And so when I started to hear, you know, those stories with these women, I was like, oh, my goodness, like I am where I need to be because eventually I want to be a mom. And um, I, you know, I was a part of the community before becoming a mom, what, um, five years. Mm -hmm. So I learned a lot through these incredible testimonies of these women of their watching them grow, growing together. Um, and the importance of like why working on myself now so that I don't carry that into into how I raise my daughter and right. those insecurities that I had, the lack of confidence, the lack of, of self-love and caring for myself and unhealthy things that I was doing to myself that I would have carried into motherhood. And that's not to say that if you're a mom now that you can't work on those things because you all every day, every single day is an opportunity to work on yourself to be a better person and if anything from what i've learned from this community and who have children who have who have watched grow up in this community their children will even say you know i they see they notice the difference in their mom when they started this journey and that's a beautiful thing to like if you have older kids and you're, you know, you haven't been taking care of yourself. And then they're old, when they're older, they say, they're going to know, you know what? My mom made the decision to, to work, to work on herself, to do things for herself, to empower herself. And that's right. beautiful because that's regardless if they're little, they're big, you know, you're already teaching them why that's important. And, and for me, that was critical because I had a baby through my, my baby's going to be two next Saturday. And I will tell you what happened when, you know, we went to the hospital and when we came out of the hospital, full pandemic, everybody was at home, everyone was quarantined. It was just a wild AF experience. And yeah. I know, I know that because I had this community, because I did the inner work to heal the things that I needed to heal from, I know that that was my like armor to get me through postpartum in a pandemic. And I'm grateful because I had that community, even though we weren't together in person, we were online. I had that extension. I had that extension of a sisterhood to plug into, to support me through my postpartum, um, through a pandemic, because we were in quarantine and we couldn't be together. I couldn't see my family for three months. And just think about if you were ever a brand new mom, what your expectation was. Because listen, my expectation right. was, I'm going to have my mom, I'm going to have my mother-in-law, my sisters, my sister-in-laws, my sister, like, I'm going to have my sisters to support me after I come home with this baby. And that was not the case. And so, you know, it was just me and my husband and my baby learning how to be parents for the first time. Everything was, you know, virtual connection. But I know that that work that I did on myself was really what got me through it because I was like, no, I can do this. Every day I'd wake up like... I, you know, and then, and then breastfeeding was a whole other, a whole other thing to learn on your own. So I know that because I did that work before, because I had this community, they supported me through that, through that postpartum journey. And one of the things that I want to make sure that everyone knows is like a part of your pregnancy is postpartum. That's what we call the fourth trimester. So the one through three is your pregnancy. But postpartum is the fourth trimester. And that is different for every single woman. Yeah. Every single woman. And I know for me, especially if you're a breastfeeding mama, I feel like that period in your life is extended. I'm literally, um, we just stopped breastfeeding about two and a half weeks ago. Ooh, and, and so now, barely now, I'm starting to feel like my body is my body once again. Because, you know. That's right. just a whole other topic we could talk about. But why the importance of the community? The community I know carried me through that because I had so many women, women's stories and experiences to support me and to and just a reminder, like, girl, we're gonna get through this. We all we all go through this. We're all gonna get through this. And whether you're a mom now or not, that's the beauty of the community is that you get. It's almost like 
you get to see where you'll be once you get to that stage in your life. Whether this is day one of your weight loss journey, whether this is one month preparing for pregnancy, you know what I mean? Like that's just the beautiful thing of the community and the power, the power of the community and how I, I know that the community like saved my life and it, it just, it's just an amazing thing to have because it's trying times, you know, and you need your, you need your tribe around you to continue to support you in every phase of your life. Yeah. You always give me chills, Cindy. You always give me chills when you talk. And um, I think that everything that you're highlighting is so important because when you, the inner work that you're talking about, you know, as you said, like you had this whole plan for after your pregnancy and that's a big, that's a big plan, you know? And so to be pregnant, be in your fourth stage, like you said, postpartum and have that crash down on you, your whole plan is just done. Right. Um, I think a lot of people would maybe break and fall and, and not know what to do. And because of the work that, you know, is done, it's like, we, it's easier to, when a train hits you, it's easier to get your ass up and, and figure it out. And it's like, okay, like this is happening. What now? Like, and, and how are we going to move forward? And I feel like that's what you did. Um, and then to touch on, you know, being, being the woman you are and the mother you are and pouring onto your daughter, like all the greatness is pouring onto her. But like you were saying, you know, if, if you didn't work on yourself, all that ugliness will pour onto them too. And I think that, you know, it's important to, we talk about it all the time that women need to put themselves first, like whether they're a mom or not, it starts with you. And at, you always say it and we always say it. It's like, don't use like your kids or your family or anything as an excuse to not to do it. Use them as an excuse to do it. <laughs> they're the reason. They're the reason. They shouldn't be an excuse. If they're, if they're the reason why you need to get healthy, why you want to get healthy, then you can't use them as an excuse why you're yeah. not doing the things that you need to do. Yeah. And I, um, and I always talk about how I'm, I don't have a lens of a mother, but I have a lens of, of that daughter whose mother didn't take care of herself. And, and this is why this just touches my heart. And this is why I want to share and impact because, um, you know, I, I know what that journey looks like. And if I were to have a mother like you growing up, who's worked on herself, like I can imagine what life, you know, could have been and like what, what struggles, you know, you didn't have to go through because that's what it's about, right? Like when you have kids, you just want to love, well, most people, they just want to love them and nurture them. And that's really all they need, but they don't, they don't get that, right? Sometimes they don't get that. And they have to go through struggles in life, which are fine, right? We go through struggles. It makes us who we are, overcome them. But why put them through that? You know what I mean? If you don't have to. And so um, it's just so beautiful to watch the women in our community um, work on themselves to be a better, not only human, but mother, um, sister, wife, whatever. Um, but yeah, it's just great. Um, this was so powerful. I loved it. Um, and I hope that it was valued to you guys. Um, is there anything you want to add before we end? Um, and, and, you know, back to what you just, what you just said is uh, just a reminder, you know, mm -hmm. We're not perfect. Yeah. Um, the work continues. So although, although I am in this, in this incredible uh, phase in my life and my journey, the work continues every day. I work on myself every single day. And that's what we have to do. We have to work on ourselves every single day because every day brings new battles and new struggles and new hurdles. And, and the only way you can overcome those things is to do the daily work. So one thing that I would recommend for anyone, um, regardless if you started your journey, but you want to start to change your life in a positive way, is to start to create a morning ritual that's going to support that positivity every day. So whether that is, you know, I, if you watch Nicole, if you watch me, you know that we talk about personal development. What does that mean? Part of that personal development goes into your, it's part of your self-love journey. It's how you empower yourself to start your day. So I know Nicole and I have a similar morning ritual, right? We listen to something positive. We sip our amazing Herbalife tea cocktail, right? And that's how we start our day. And and I know it sounds silly because when I first started doing it, I, remember, I was like, 
what is this? Like, <laughs> all I know is that I felt tingly and I was like excited about my day after the fact. Okay. So yeah. just with consistency, discipline, seven years in, I still do this every single day. This yeah. is how I start my day every single day. My husband knows, listen, don't come talk to me or ask me questions until I've had my tea and I've had my personal development because I might go off on you, right? <laughs> um, and same thing with my baby. She knows it's tea time right? Give mommy yeah. five minutes. I got to make my tea. I got to get going. And, and maybe this is something if you're a mom and you really cannot have a moment to yourself, make it a part of your routine with your kids so that they understand like this is mommy's happy time. This is mommy's, you know, as they get older, they will understand, but maybe if they're little and you know, you, you can't control them, obviously. Right. Um, Make it a routine, make it a game, make it fun. And just find a way to incorporate that positivity every single day. But starting your morning with that. Because yeah. that's the first thing that's going to armor your your brain, right? Your mental and emotional state to get through your day. Yeah, no, for sure. And I know that when, you know, um, we always say it's not always, we're not perfect. It's not always rainbows and butterflies. But I know that when I start start feeling those old, uh, you know, old feelings, ugly feelings, um, you don't want to do your morning ritual. And when you don't do it, you totally just feel the difference. And the more you don't do those, you know, daily habits or routines or whatever the case is, the, the deeper of a hole you'll get into. That's why like as soon, like now before I would be in like a hole for, I don't know, months, but now it's like, okay, if I start feeling that feeling, I have to react to it like really quick. And it's like, no, like opposite of what I want to do, like, you get your ass up, you do your ritual and you, you go on with your day and you feel so much better. And then that creates just, um, you know, daily habits to kind of move you forward into a, a more positive direction. So yeah, yes, I love it. I love it. All right. Does anybody, I know we have some people on live. Does anybody have any questions for us? Um, before we leave. I think we answered have, the ones that were on there. Yeah, yeah, we answered that question. Do you, um, is Frida's not there? No, so we had we had date night last night, so oh. we got a sitter. Um, oh. And so she's already, I'm going to, it's family day on Sunday, so I'm going to go meet her over there. But she doesn't even like, <laughs> this is why I have to do the work every day, guys, because she doesn't even like, now she doesn't even care. She's like, okay, bye. Like they came to pick her up. She's like, bye mom. I'm out. And I'm just like, oh, my baby. Oh, but. She's so cute. You guys <laughs> follow Cindy. You have to see Frida. She's the cutest thing. Um, but thank you so much for doing this with me, Cindy. And I always appreciate you. Um, and always giving me chills when you talk. But um, thank you for having me. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited. And this is important work. This is important work because there's just so many, there's so many powerful stories in this community yeah. that um, we need to share because it, it, we have to take advantage of this, of this uh, virtual platform because yeah. we're, you're, we're not even in the same city right now. And that's just yeah. amazing that we can connect. Yeah. So I, yeah. I, I, I'm excited for this. I'm excited for you. Yeah. I'm so excited too. And um you know, I'm going to try to do these on Sundays. And like you said, there's so many amazing stories that I want to share and just bring awareness to. Um, and, you know, this community is open to everybody. We are here, you guys. If you want to learn more or join one of our tea talks on um, set on Saturdays, then um, just message us and we'll give you all. Yes, the yes. So you. Saturdays we have... Um, we have our women empowerment. It's part of our women empowerment movement, um, a journey to self love, right? But every Saturday we have what we call tea talk, which is similar to this, right? We share stories, we connect, we do incredible inner work activities to really help like elevate not just your, your, your transformation, your physical transformation and your results, but your inner transformation and helping you find that spark within you so if you would love to join us um reach out reach out to nicole and she will plug you into the details for how you can be a part of this amazing community and start changing your life let's go 
<laughs> All right. Well, thanks so much, Sunday. I love you. And have a wonderful Sunday, you. family day. Tell Frida and the hubby I said hi. I will. Thank you. Okay. Happy Sunday. Bye. Bye. Okay. And Sunday, do you know how I stopped it? Okay, no. I just hit. All right, bye guys.